It might be a bit early to determine the final revenue earned over the Christmas period at Sheraton Center. However, given the people traffic through the popular mall, management has reasons to be upbeat. Marketing manager Danielle Singh says the numbers this year have been amazing. She made the remark during a presentation to prize winners of this year's Christmas competition at Sheraton. Ms. Singh says the Christmas competition was well embraced. We had amazing mall traffic. Um, what we try to do is not only cater to our tenants to ensure sales, but we also try to make Sheraton like a very family-oriented place this Christmas. Um, we try to do that with our decorations, our food court display with the Santa um, corner. We try to have Santa here as many days as possible, just so parents can feel like you just don't have to come and bring your kids, scramble, get your stuff, and then leave the mall. It was like a destination place to be. Um, our traffic was really good. Um, we'll be finding out how that reflected in sales for our tenants shortly with our tenant meeting. Ms. Singer credits their continued success to a decision to focus more on diversifying their product offerings. And the winners of the Sheraton Mall Christmas competition collected their prizes today. They were graciously accepted. I feel good and I'm excited. Like, it's a good start to the year. Of course, I was over the moon. <laughs> I was very happy. At first, I thought that. You know, somebody put in a fast one. Um, so it doesn't even call back to very you well. Yes, it is. So then they start thinking that, uh, well, it started the year pretty hard. There was also a presentation of a bonus prize of 2,000 Sheraton Mall dollars. Well, time now to take a look at how stocks traded on selected exchanges across our region. In Jamaica, JMMB Group 7.25% was the volume leader, with 425,000 shares being traded. It was followed by Kingston Wharves Limited and Victoria Mutual Investments Limited. Over in Trinidad and Tobago, NCB Financial Group Limited was the volume leader, with 40,314 shares changing hands for a value of $344,734.70. It was followed by National Enterprises Limited and Ansel McKell Limited. Back here in Barbados, there was no trading on the stock exchange.